Some are saying Clarence Thomas is saving more black lives than Black Lives Matter. Uh, because if you look at statistically in the U.S. population, right, U.S. population 60% are white. The U.S. population 60% is white. Blacks is 12.2%. Let me say that one more time. Five times more is the population of whites versus blacks, okay? Meanwhile, 37% of all abortions are black women versus 33% of abortions are white. So even though whites are five times the amount of blacks, the abortion for blacks is higher than whites, which is six times the amount of abortions a, you know, a blacks get than whites. So some people say, well, that's racist. Well, the racist in that topic can be seen in two different ways because more black kids are being aborted than white kids are being aborted. So who is the racist? Does that decrease the chances of more blacks having a voice in the community make a difference if we're getting five times more the kids to be aborted? And you know, back in the days, this was a conspiracy on the fact that they were doing this because with the whole crap, you know, all the stories that was going on, this is a way to eliminate from, hey, let's go out there and do this because this can help us uh, uh, with the amount of voice that they could have. There is that topic that's coming up as well when you're looking at the stats in regards to what's going on with uh, Clarence Thomas. But if you if you break it down in the state, you're the governor. Here's how the governor says, look, in our state, we don't want to do abortions. You don't like it? Guess what? If, an, if a governor really supports this, this is how the governor's approach should be. We don't. But there are 17 states you can go to where you can get it. Okay? Very simple. Go to these 17 states. Okay? You know, if somebody protests and riots against somebody that doesn't allow same-sex marriage, guess what that state governor can say? We don't. But there's these 17 states that you can mm -hmm. go to that does. They support you. Go to that state. So, now, Pat, that's racist. Well, let me tell you what I did. I'm in California, and I'm against the 13.5% state taxes and the gas taxes and this taxes and regulation and all this other stuff. And guess what Governor Newsom said? He said to me indirectly... Well, if you don't like it, there's these seven states that you don't pay taxes. And guess what I said? I said, you know what? I appreciate the offer, Governor Newsom. I moved to Texas. I lived in Texas for five years. And 18 months ago, we moved to Florida, right, to be in a state like this because I like the way the governor handled it. So my position here to those that are losing their minds is the following. The hypocrisy is when people are rioting and protesting in states where abortion hasn't changed. California, you're fine. Uh, in New York, you're fine protesting. In your, it's very weird that you're protesting. You're not affected by this. This is affected to some other states that are doing it. I say, oh, I agree. Go and protest. That's one of the freedoms that we have in America. But just like a business owner can choose to leave to another state because they have low regulation and lower taxes to allow them to hire more people, you also have the choice to move to a different state that gives you those freedoms to do whatever you want to do with your body. Is that uh, uh, discriminatory? I don't know. I think you have a choice. So if you're in a state that does, doesn't allow you and that really infuriates you, you have two choices. Try to make the change in that state, which is kind of what you were talking about, right? Or number two, go move to a state that allows you to do that. You have a choice. It's America. You're well, not forced to stay you, And you now have major employers saying that they will mm -hmm. pay for the travel. Now, do, now, are they really saying, well, paying for maternity leave is a lot more expensive than paying for an abortion, right. uh, but uh, first of all, I would say two things: polling any question in the eye of the storm is very difficult. You're going to get you're going to get a skewed result. Do you agree with the decision? That that implies people know what the decision means. Many of my friends said oh, abortion is now illegal everywhere. Well, that's not what this decision says. So, what this looks like in three months mm -hmm. could be very different than what it looks like today. Depends on it depends on public understanding of the issue, which I'm not sure is there today. I like what you said, um, polling in the eye of the storm was is what, how do you describe it? Yeah, mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It's what? Well, well, whenever you try to take a survey yeah. in the middle of a crisis. Exactly. It, before, Emotions play a, a huge role. Right, until things settle down and public opinions are more set, mm -hmm. uh, when you're in the middle of the controversy is not the time to measure the impact of well, the Well, that's the time that people are going to want to you're going well, to send them to the country. From a, well, yeah. the, but it, even though recognizing it may be temporary. Mm -hmm. Well, let me say one thing. 
the, the as always, just like in the economy, just everything with COVID, the, who's going to get hurt the most? The poor. Like the poor don't have the luxury of just moving to another state or having their amazing Fortune 500 corporation pay for their abortion. Who says? So, who says? Who says? I was poor. We moved to America. Immigrants come to America. They're rich. I'm sorry. Do immigrants who come to America are rich immigrants? Poor immigrants come to I'm America. I'm talking about state to state, though. No, but that, that's even easier. It's easier to go to another state than to come to a country. It's How many ten- people are going to go move to another state? Many, they get another many abortion? do. Are you kidding yeah, me? Many move, do. They but it's, 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 it's expensive. They're, no, it's not. They, they it's, don't have, not it's not expensive. No, to move. What they are you don't, talking? They about? don't have to move. They no. just have to go there for the procedure. Yeah. The, you, you, you. So if you're in the if you're in the in the belly of Texas and you got to, what's the closest state to Texas? That you can go get an abortion, California. Okay, so how long is that going to take? I mean, I'm just saying it's not e- it's not as easy as yeah, all right, no, move to California. But, no, but I tell you, I tell you, when we when I was in California and I was mm. broke, guess where I went to a dentist? Where? Where? Mexico. Mexico. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> okay. You you know what the price is in Mexico compared to what it is in California? I would drive five and a half hours to go to TJ to see my dentist that didn't speak English. <laughs> I went there and he got it done and it was good. And, and I, your beautiful teeth these the, days. The point I'm trying to make to you, I was poor. Yeah. I was 49K in debt and I had barely 500 bucks in a bank. I had no money. But I'm like, listen, my teeth are killing me. I can't even uh, stay. Mm-hmm. So I get what you're saying on the fact that you have the choice to go to another state. Look, just like the rest of us move, if you don't like where you're living at, and there are 40 million immigrants are in America, where do they leave? If the situation was so great, they would have never left. They left because they were not happy with something. If you're not happy living in a state that's red or purple and is disagreeing with your views, I highly recommend you move to Oregon, move to California, move to New York, move to Chicago. It's more of people that agree with you. Look, the story of Ayn Rand with Atlas Shrugged, what is the story? You know, the story is there's a city that you go to where you're around like-minded people. If you want to be around like-minded people and you afford this, or any of this stuff, there's plenty of states for you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.